go. Crash and flow. Yeah, that's true. But also it's just the fact that like sometimes if you need a break from everything and you only got less than like you can you can't take a break longer than 10 minutes yeah 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 so i go over here and i just watch two of these dude totally i used to go to the dog park for exact same reason mm. i would just sit by the dog park yeah just watch them run around and shit yeah it's nice i make a whole dynamic in my head right yeah yeah, yeah. no of course you are <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. A, that, that makes sense there's a crow i'm like i hope the crow gets involved yeah everywhere i go i create a script about something yeah man storytellers that's what we do over here in crash and flow also in Crash and Flow, we would like to celebrate mm. specifically the countries that are currently yes. standing with Palestine. Yes. So I made a short list. And really, this list has no logic behind it apart from the fact that I was like, all right, these are the ones I remember. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put I'm gonna put them <laughs> on the list. Okay. So now, if we don't name your country that you rep and, and, and you are supporting uh, Palestine, I'm sorry. I'll, maybe I'll get to you guys later or... Or, you know, message us, message us on Instagram. But, but you're just... certain about these countries, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. as long as you're sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to work my way backwards. And I'm going to start with uh, the great state, a uh, great great nation of Colombia. Colombia. Okay, Colombia. And I have a little thing over here that I got I to gotta read over here. So President Gustavo Petro, right, announced that the country will open an embassy in the Palestinian city of Ramallah after he called Israeli attacks genocide. Okay, so he's going the extra mile. A lot of these places, they go and they say something or they like, you know, we we believe in the state of Palestine or, you know, we we uh, condemn the current attacks that's happening. This guy, he's about that life. Mm. If this is unsubstantiated, but I think either him or Venezuela, they I think they expelled the Israeli like uh, representative from their country as well. Not confirmed, but. <laughs> But this man is willing to to so, open a to open a, uh, a an embassy in in Palestine. So, so what we're gonna cool. do is interesting facts yes. about these countries, starting yes. off with Colombia. All right, cool facts about Colombia. This what? What should be all drug related? <laughs> They're like, not these cool facts, bro. We want. Can we get like an ancient civilization update in here? Okay, here we go. So we got eleven. Uh, all right. So Colombia is the most is the second most biodiverse country in the world mm. after only. Can you guess what is the most bi bi biodiverse? Brazil. Damn, dude. Yeah. Yeah. You, you watch Animal Planet. I do watch yeah. Animal Planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I watch yeah. Animal Planet today. <laughs> I watch Animal Planet, <laughs> which is ten times its size. Whoa. Okay. Brazil is 10 times the size of Colombia. Um, uh, and one of only seven, 17 mega diverse countries. Okay. So mega we, diverse countries, we can dude. move off of the diverseness of it. Pretty sick. Um, <laughs> Let's go, Colombia. So Re Re Republic of Colombia was. Dur okay. No, we don't want that one either. <laughs> <laughs> what are these? Are these all bad? No, no. Is it's the just most that stabbings. It's named, <laughs> it's, it's named from uh, the explorer Christopher Columbus. Okay. Sure. Yeah. You can say that. I know, but like, like I'm not celebrating. No, we I feel can talk weird. about it. Like, I feel weird. <laughs> we could be like, hey, they're looking into it. Yeah, they yeah, might, yeah. you know, change it to they, they might. somebody else. So they have a vibrant music scene. Of Two course. best known Colombian musicians are Shakira and Juanes. I don't know who that is. I also, the movie Encanto Shakira, Shakira. Yeah. is based in Colombia. Oh, really? Yeah, in like an actual, like the, the whole place in Encanto that this show is based off a real place in Colombia. Yeah. So there you know yeah, Encanto. Good. what oh. do you got uh you got i mean that's Columbia? that's that's as cool as it gets if you if you got like a a good disney movie uh based for it okay so colombia is home to cano cristals uh the river of five colors or the liquid rainbow located in serenia hmm. um the riverbed changes colors between yellow green blue black especially red beginning in the end of july and through november okay we need to google this river of five colors Oh, dude, this is this is legit. I, I, I know there's some saturation that's happening, but this looks freaking amazing. This is the kind of stuff you go into, and then you all die. <laughs> You're like, oh, my God, this is great. We should go in. And it just cooks you. <laughs> right? I mean, and then, and then when they'd be like, well, what did you think? <laughs> this place, this, does it look natural to you? No, it just looks like ass. It's beautiful. It does look cool, like dude. like a mushroom I had no idea. They had no look idea. This one. I'm moving my way backwards to that. Oof. Yeah. I know they're pushing up the saturation and, and contrast over here in these pictures, but even though uh, this is quite striking, if anything, it's more striking than the 
actually, you know what? I got to look at the the original <laughs> pictures. I don't want to badmouth my country of Mauritius, but they do have a place called the uh, the area of the the seven colored sands, hmm. and um, that's a that's a thing as well. It sure is, bro. Have it they sure said is. anything about Palestine? Colombia. Oh yeah, but I don't know if Mauritius is yeah, me. Yeah, I know. I'm oh, sorry. I, I got to figure that out. We're not talking about Pakistan either. Uh, all right. Uh, age is valued in Colombia. Older the the older the person, the more powerful their voice becomes. Elders are mm. deeply respected throughout the country, which is nice. That's good. Which is nice. All right. Uh, what else do I have? I want to have like an animal fact within the. Yeah, the they have all these. I uh, I was just that's is that, all. I is was that what doing. you went for? <laughs> yeah, I was like, this is the easiest way for us to get excited. It's not seeing a colorful river. Uh, yeah, no, but the river is kind of cool though. I would, I will say. have a jungle. Uh, for, yeah, that's true. Uh, so they have a condor which looks dope. They have an Amazon River Dolphin. Never even heard of this. Hold on, let's pull this one You haven't out. seen an Amazon River Dolphin? Yeah, <laughs> pull up Colombian animals. Yeah. They also have capybaras, which are like... Uh, the best. They're the coolest animals, the most laid back. The... the the I have no enemies. That's, mm. that, that's their energy. They have no enemies all the time. All right, so... Except the, jaguars. Yeah, but they don't hate. <laughs> Yeah, they don't. They're not mad about jaguars. They get it, dude. This is a weird looking dolphin. Yeah, this thing looks messed up. What's uh, wrong with the waters? Uh, yeah, Ooh. it's it's just because of the the front the front end, right? But it looks like it's still got a smile, like like that dolphin smile. Look at him. He's smiling. He just looks like a alligator, dude. I feel like if an if an actual normal sea dolphin sees this guy, he's like, "What is wrong? We're not making friends with this guy." Also, why is he pinkish? He looks. Uh, it's, they look messed it's, up. He looks really pink. Interesting. Though. This is like a white dolphin. Show me like a Colombian something. I want to see if all their animals are a little <laughs> off. Like, is there yeah, yeah, cocaine I got you. in the I water? Got you. I got you. Okay, wait, wait. They the have jaguars. Just they have regular jaguars. Okay, the regular good. jaguar looks like a whatever. Looks like a thing. The condor is essentially it's kind of look like a vulture situation, right? Okay, so I'm gonna pull this up right here. So they definitely look like. Yeah, it's like a vulture. Yeah, isn't that a type of a vulture maybe yeah, it definitely is okay oh dude they have a poison they have the poison dark frog dark frog show me you've seen these guys 100 percent. there's so many of them they're all like super uh, like bright colors this is it this is the this is the this is their poster <laughs> this guy's their poster yeah, they were trying to right scare here. the crap out of us in middle school with those guys this thing can kill and they just say an absurd number of people I'm like, how? How does it do it? Oh, well, you take its blood out. I'm like, don't do that. Yo, sometimes, sometimes, uh, like, humans find the weirdest way for them to quantify. Yeah. You know, be like, if we took all of the venom out of this and injected in people, we'd be able to kill 500 people. And, like, we're like, yeah. but... <laughs> That's what's wrong with people. Like, how about letting the blue frog be? But we can kill 500 people. All right. So, they are... Um, the bright coloration is correlated with their toxicity. Look how makes sense. toxic, like, this guy looks, yeah, he looks cool. He looks like, if I had shoes like him, I'd be happy about yeah, it. Yeah, that's right? a colorway. That's a cool colorway These for are cool shoe. uniforms. <laughs> like an orange with a blue. Dude. It, so they secrete poison, and they... That dude looks mad about something. Yeah. Dang. He's standing like a, like a pit bull. So they, <laughs> they secrete a poison. You put your, your blow dart tips on, on mm -hmm. the frog. Mm-hmm. Right, and then now the tip of the frog's got poison. I mean, the tip of your blow dart has poison yeah. in it. And you go, yep. yep. And you hit somebody in the in the jugular, and they yeah. go, ah. and they go down. I've seen uh, Apocalypto. Yeah. Was Apocalypto based in Colombia? No, I don't think so. Where, where was it based? I don't know. Let's check it out. Where was Apocalypto? Was it based? Aztec or Mayan? Because it would be way more north. Yucatan. So Mexico. Yeah. If I, and I'm just, double, yeah, region of Mexico. Yeah, that's where I figured. All right. So they have a the capybara, which is awesome. Who, uh, and I'm assuming just, yeah, everything eats a capybara. It looks delicious if I was a, a carnivore. That's true. Who eats a capybara? Jaguars. Jaguar, yeah, but jaguars. Uh, there's a video, I didn't save it, of a jaguar jumping out of a tree mm -hmm. to hunt an alligator or a Dude. crocodile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. I've seen that one. <laughs> right. But w the thing that's of note of that video is upon like landing on, you know, essentially something that knows how to kill you really well in water. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're hunting him where he's the best at, bites him, and then he's completely submerged and he comes out. Jaguar's eyes, yeah. not even blinking. Right. 
De- like water, the twigs in the water, oh. the leaves, dirt, nothing. There's, just there's other alligators around. It's just like not just yet. such focused anger. Uh, that's really cool. All right, so so we got any more Columbia, or are we going to? Because uh, we can just do Columbia animals could, for thirty could, minutes. We which could is because not they got the they got. I only got one last one. Sure. I want to know what a cotton top tamarind is. Sounds delicious though, okay. right? Like on a cold day. Let me get a cotton top. So, is it a monkey? Yeah, bro. These look. <laughs> Adorable, but also delicious. Damn, he look. Dude. I would like to pet this. I would like to pet the top, the top part. I feel like it would taste like coffee. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Because look at this. Look at this colors? coat. Look this one. Yeah, that. Yeah. Look how beautiful this animal yeah, is. Yeah, really is. Man, they they he how really. Big? Mm. Size. There we go. Dude, this is the cutest monkey ever. Dude, it's so fucking cute. <laughs> it's hella smart. Oh my god. It's pocket size. You put some water on that after dark, things go bad. Oh man, I'm glad you you brought this last animal up, man. Cotton, cottonhead. He's a he, cotton uh, <laughs> he's the size of this of this uh, Chinese egg Cop- drop uh, takeout container. How do you know it's Chinese? Oh, I see. Because they have soup like that. Yeah, got yeah, it. Got yeah. it. Got it. <laughs> like, how do you know it's a Chinese container? Well, the, you've ordered Chinese before. <laughs> yes, I have. This guy looks mad. I don't like this guy. This guy's going uh, full Planet of the Apes over here. Okay. You know, it'd be cool if you could have one as a pet. What? A white girl? I mean... The monkey, mainly. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I yeah. agree with you. Yeah. I'm... If you can, if we can actually, like, harmonize with animals, where, like... What's the number one pet I would have if you if you could do any pet? No, no, not like that. But I meant oh, okay. more so, like... You got it. If, a, if an animal isn't just... Animals aren't supposed to be all with us. No. Right? No. You can't just have a toucan. No. And he's... This is a great life for him. Yeah, no. I wish it was a situation where, like, you know, we could have one of those. Yeah. Because that would be the best. That really would be the best. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. The next one on the list of the supporter, or supports Palestine, Venezuela. Venezuela. There seems to be a theme, but poor South African, South American countries, there's a lot of them that stand with Palestine. Yeah, a lot of uh, actually impoverished countries all around the world. They're like, hey, we know what that is. We know what that is. That's the British. <laughs> that's what that is. We know what that is. That's happened to us. Yeah, they're either bombing you or destabilizing your currency. Which one did they do to you? Or like installing their own government. <laughs> yeah, this one, I have, I've managed a few people. I've had a few friends in Colombia and Venezuela, mm-hmm. and things are very expensive. Okay, so here's the deal. Talk to me. Uh, the animal listing for Venezuela mm-hmm. is uh, very similar to Colombia. You should have gone with a country from a different region. I should have gone, but you know what? Both of them showed up when I was doing my research right after another. Of course so they I gotta, did. I gotta they throw, come in region. I gotta me. throw things. So they do have capybaras over there. They have the Amazon River dolphin over there as well. Yeah. However, okay, we got a couple other things. We got the howler monkey. Nice. Which is dope. We don't need to look into it because we've seen that plenty of times. Of There's the harpy eagle, if I'm not mistaken, might be the biggest eagle ever. Yeah, isn't that that? Uh, this is the big one? Pull it up. Yeah. Jamie. Dang. What? That's not a real picture. That's a cat. <laughs> no, no, that's a face on. You don't normally get the face on of the thing. A harpy eagle is a... Uh, Neotropical species of eagle is also called the American harpy eagle. To, oh, to distinguish it from the Papa eagle, which is sometimes known as the New New Guinea harpy eagle. Okay. So okay. This guy's big. All right. 99 centimeters in length. That's a meter, bro. <clears throat> bro. That is freaking huge. All right. Let's, br- let's bring up some pictures of this harpy eagle here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's legit. Let's see. Size, by the way, here. Look at this dude. He's sitting, standing beside, sitting beside one. Nice. It's big ass. Nah, that doesn't count. That guy's in the back. He's too far away. Also, who's trying to get close enough to a harpy eagle to <laughs> I mean, give it scale, yeah, right? This, this, this That's is as close I get. Yeah. And that is a real face of a, an eagle. This shows a lot of respect for the, the eagle, by the way. As far away as this guy is, <laughs> this guy's a mile away. <laughs> He's right. like... This I'm, doesn't <laughs> seem like an eagle where you, you want them to land on your arm. Yeah. Right? It's, uh, okay, look. This is as good as... Dude, it's, it's, it's pretty big. Yep. Even if even if you're dealing with perspective, it's pretty big. Can you also put up uh, famous uh, Venezuelans? Okay. So while Yasin is doing that, population 30 million, capital Caracas. I knew that. And uh, obviously speaking speaking the Spanish, 95% Christian. July 5th, Independence Day. 
I mean, it's either politicians or very hot ladies from beauty pageants. If you don't click on images and go to the a thing, it would probably give you something. <laughs> no one's trying to see anything other than hot women if you go to images. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, fair enough. But uh, here we go. Let's go to a list, brother. I mean, You're... we're even looking at pictures that we're trying to get it. You're not going to know these people. No, of course not. You just go to like actors or something. Okay. Or sports. Sports. You're in architectures. We're not going to know nobody. <laughs> Bobby Abreu, who uh, dad was uh, coaching until recently. I'm, I'm in Yassine's like blind zone of baseball <laughs> now. I'm like, you don't know Emilio Cuche? <laughs> Yeah, nobody, bro. Yo, Jose Altuve from the Houston Astros. Okay. Tiny, awesome, Damn. cheating. Also, <laughs> yeah, but everyone should cheat if they're in baseball. I'm with you, dude. Uh, can you go to musicians? No. It's too many of them. They're alphabetized. They should just go like top, there, you know. There's a lot, but I don't know. And uh, I don't know. Hugo Blanco? Nope. I don't, I th it sounded with familiar, a, yeah. but then I'm like, oh, he's the harp player. I definitely don't know that man. With a name like that, you're going to be a fantastic musician. Hugo yeah. Blanco? It's, it's Can you go down cool. a bit? All right, perfect. Mountaineers? <laughs> one. Dude, there's so many. Oh, this is the musicians. Again. This is one. Oh, it's Jose. Jose <laughs> Antonio Delgado. First person summit, the eight thousanders. Okay, which what are, is an eight thousand? Those are the peaks that are over eight thousand. Meters. 18, 8,000 peaks. Jose. Oh, 14, 8,000 peaks. All right. That's cool. Yeah. That's not easy to do. No. All right. Way to go. Give it up for our Venezuelans. Get a, get, give it up for Venezuelans. Oh, I wasn't done with the... Uh, no, no. I wasn't list. done with the animal stuff. I believe you. Because uh, I got to give you... I got to show you the crab eating fox. What? This is a fox? Look at him. Oh, dude, this thing is also adorable, but also murderous. Looks, yeah, well, I mean, no, you know, he's only eating crabs. No, but look at those eyes. Those eyes, look at this guy, right? This guy will steal your baby. No, right he here. looks like he's uh, he's stressed. Look at him. He's like, please don't please take my picture. Please let me eat your baby. Please. I'm a fox. <laughs> this is a good look. This is a good looking fox. Okay, All right, good. so they have ass ocelots. They have ocelots there. Okay, bro. <laughs> calm down. They have ocelots there. They have gray fox there. And they have something called a king kaju. That's pretty sick. Are you ready for it? Yeah, I don't want... I don't mind. Here we go. The king kaju. Ah, like a less adorable... It's like a lemur. Cotton head. Yeah. Oh, this one's a full... Full... Whoa. Yo. Kind of scary, that to one, be honest with he's, you. He's a little drugged up. Yeah, but a, like a lot of drug, <laughs> drug the stuff size of the don't. animal is not something you can play around with because that thing can bite you. So, so this means at nighttime, all right? Big eyes like this means yes. nighttime. Yeah, good eye. Uh, tropical rainforest mammal in the family of the whatever, whatever. Um, okay, closely related to raccoons, the ring tails. Uh, only member of the genus of photo, whatever, whatever. Hold on, man. They should give cooler things as a synopsis. Yeah, they're nocturnal. Strict nocturnals. That's the reason why they look so crazy, dude. You're waking them up to take pictures in broad daylight. <laughs> they're not going to look good. Holy shit, this is horrible. However, it's being it's been hunted for the pet trade and for its skin to make wallets and, and horse saddles. Okay, here's the thing. God. Just make the wallets, but don't make the horse saddles. Right? At least just kill a horse. Right? No? Okay. I'm just saying he's so small. I know how many of these are going to take for you to make a horse saddle. That's, oh. that's really unfair. Just make the wallets before. Yeah, the thing is tiny. All right. Um, they live up to 40 years old in captivity. So Wow. That is a really? long time. There's old, like a full one will grow as long as me, basically. <laughs> like how long as I've been alive. Yeah, you've seen, the, you've seen that much that's of the world. That's a lot for something that small. It really is, dude. You know, it's surprising how, how long birds live. Like, yeah. Oh, you know what? Never really looked into that. Hope one of these next countries has a cool bird we can look into. <laughs> next on the list, Scotland. Yep. Right. This is pretty easy to know and understand why. All right. You, can you cover regular Scotland facts? I'm going to pull up the animals. Yeah, sure. And in case you're wondering why the Scottish would be anti-colonization, might be because of the heavy colonization they experience being <laughs> close to one of the countries that is one of the it might be the best it might be like you know what we're gonna make this our thing it used to be tea colonization yeah. going forward they, they were they were so good at it when you look at a when you look at the the world map 
yeah. to see what they controlled when they were at the top. You're like, y- yo, you know everything. It's it's basically you get certain uh, like military advances, and he goes, you know what? Stick them up immediately. <laughs> like the whole world, stick them up. No one to say no, though. Imagine if America did the same thing at World War II. Yeah. They dropped two in Japan. They're like, actually, you know what? We're taking every... Who's going to say... Yeah. That's what the British were like. You know what? Yeah. They took over shit they couldn't even manage, like, almost immediately. <laughs> yeah, they really did. A hundred percent. Oh, cool facts. Because uh, yeah, the, uh, the audacity of... I mean, big countries, I get. But, like, the British was also like, we're also going to take Mauritius. Mm. <laughs> it's like... It's super small and out of the way. They're like, no, no, no we want this too. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. <laughs> kick the Dutch out and then take it. Or they kick the French out first. Bro, okay. I'm liking my facts. All about, right, bro, pull up your facts for Scotland. You go first. I've got my Scotland facts are 10 cool facts about Scotland from Ten and Tours. Okay. But they're fun. So number one, tallest waterfall is uh, 658 feet, three times the height of Niagara Falls. In the world. Scotland has the tallest waterfall in the world. In Britain. I don't know why it says it that way. (laughs) Maybe these are, you know, some Stockholm Syndrome website people. An official animal of Scotland is? Uh, Haggis. I don't know. No, no. I'll give you a guess. It's mythical. Holy shit. I know. This Uh, is fun, right? They have a mythical animal as their official animal. Animal. It's Loch Ness? No. No. Uh, That's somewhere else. Oh, shit. Tell tell you this. It, uh... If you kill one and drink its blood, you have an extended half-life. Unicorn, Yasin. Oh, sorry. I know, Harry Potter reference. How? I've never heard of that. Dude, that's their official Their official animal. animal is a unicorn. Yep. Yeah. It also approximately has 790 islands. I had no idea. You would think it's one. Yeah. This whole time you thought it was one island. It's Scotland. It's not Scotland's. Right? Hey, come on. We're on their side right now. Come on. <laughs> Uh, Scotland is home to the oldest tree in all of Europe. You want to guess how old this tree is? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Um, <clears throat> it's an old-ass tree. Okay, okay. 570 years old. Higher. 750 years old. Higher. 950 years it old. It is 3,000 years old. Ooh, it would have took me forever to get to 3,000. I know, 3, I noticed <laughs> that. I, I was hoping you'd double up or something. But like, you know, I yeah. can't fathom a tree 3, being 1,000 years old. It's 3,000 years old? You, dude, we think human civilization is 12,000. This tree is probably like, you guys are stupid. <laughs> My dad told me, <laughs> says the tree. <laughs> I'll go do a few wait, more. Wait, wait, no. Yeah. I want to see this picture of this tree. I, lo- sure, I sure. love trees. Edinburgh. Uh, you can, yeah, Google Edinburgh, oldest tree. While Yasin is doing that, there are over 600 square miles of freshwater lakes. Uh, the highest proportion of redheads are in Scotland. Hmm. That's a whole topic of conversation on its own. Is this a tree? He's just showing me regular Go to trees. an article, bro. Yeah, I really do. <laughs> You're just getting trees now. You're getting old trees in Scotland. <laughs> At the fine age of 5,000 years, the Yording... Yortingal Yule mm-hmm. Yew is certainly one of the oldest trees in the United Kingdom. Wow. Hmm. This tree selling this website is younger. Classic tree insecurities. Um, yeah, I didn't. I thought Ireland would have the most redheads. But yeah, Scotland per capita, most redheads. Uh, hometown of golf. And two more. Um, Glasgow. <laughs> it's this capital. All right, we're running out of cool facts. Right, right. Here it is. This is what the tree looks like. Oh, wow. Okay. When, this tr- when, when Jesus Christ was born this thing was already three thousand years old <laughs> wow respect to this tree it's alive and also respect yeah i think so uh well yeah i'm seeing greenery over here yeah, yeah. also respect to the scottish people to keep it keeping it uh keeping it going especially because such an ugly tree got you know just yeah it's not very tall from what i can tell and they have like this very old kind of enclosure around it I so think. yeah people don't come and yeah, be on the tree don't, don't mess with the tree right yeah, because you know a tourist will come and try to carve the name of their initials and their girlfriend's initial in it. 100% they would. Right? You know that's what will happen. And here's the thing. There's yeah. certain things where I'm like, hey, listen, they've made a mistake. Mm-hmm. You know? They do some, they break a window or something. Like that. It's youth. They're stupid. 
and give them a fine and then that's it mm. someone who carves their initials on a nine thousand dollar tree yeah i feel like there's got to be some heavy penalties Bro, a dude cut down a really old tree oh. like a kid a 16 year old last month i was reading that's how lo- slow the news cycle was last month <laughs> you were hearing about old trees getting cut down yeah 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 but yeah a 16 year old cut a and the townspeople immediately knew it mm-hmm. because they were like he's a troublemaker mm. So yeah, they got to put some boxes around things. But uh, last fact, you should put him in jail. The raincoat was invented in Scotland. Really? I you know what I call BS, right? Everyone when it rains, I'm pretty sure it's not like everyone's like I'm just getting soaked in this cotton that I'm wearing. I'm sure yeah, some people It's true. figured out a way. But I don't think they have like raincoats everywhere, you know. You know, rubber and plastic or whatever. Anyway, as far as the animals are concerned, nothing too crazy over here. No we problem. got red squirrels, we have red deer. We have the Scottish wildcat. Oh, let's just pull that one up. European. Oh, no, never mind. I want to see the Martin because I freaking love Martins. Delicious. Here is the European pine Martin. Oh, this is adorable. I freaking love Martins, dude. dude you don't, all of these you don't countries know. have a cool little, you know. Yeah. This should be the national Yeah, animal. instead of your freaking unicorns. <laughs> Unless they have a bunch of unicorns there living in the same forest as that 9,000 tree. Mm. 9,000 year old tree We don't know In and the they, tree They just keep Look how cute this thing is Apparently Martins are hella vicious By the way So you can't just You can't look at his Bro. His face And then think that He's nice They're I, not nice these guys I saw one of these Kill a rabbit mm-hmm. And it was fast <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah, They're really good What? What is this? Is it a weasel? Like what What yeah. family does it belong to? Yeah Yeah, 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 yeah. Weasels Yeah Weasel family Not getting enough credit uh, Oh Also uh, Available in Iraq, Iran, in Syria as well. Hmm. And let's see. Less commonly, whatever, whatever, whatever. Short course. Where is it? Isn't there a word for this? There's a word for it. I'm not sure. Uh, word for what? Like what they're related to. Scientific classification. I'm not going to be able to know what this is. I think it's... Marts. All right, whatever. Um, anyway, they're cool. There's a couple documentaries online you can watch about Martins. They're awesome. Yep. They're super fast. That's cool. All right, next on the list, South Africa. Whoa, colonizers themselves. Yeah, these are the ones coming these, back around. This is this is the last. The, you know, they just recently got out of apartheid. Yeah, you know what? I heard uh, from Roger Waters and a bunch of. I have a few friends that lived in South Africa. Yeah, and they tried to be the good colonizers. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know what? Even when you're doing it that way. People don't like People you. People don't like it. <laughs> People don't like it. Well, you'd be surprised. Yeah. But um, they have some also super ancient civilizations down there and stuff. It's pretty cool. Okay, okay. What okay. do you want me to look into? You look at the animals again? Uh, no, I pulled up the regular facts. Perfect. I think I got one. I got I got something that's 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 looking good over here. Cool. Talk to me. Uh, first of all, they're the largest producers of macadamia nuts. Bro, did you what kind of facts are these? Tell me. Just straight up. Is are they cool facts? Or you... Integrateimmigration.com. Bro, I'm not liking you right now. I think you're trying to sabotage South Africa for Hold some on. reason. Hold on, there's two thousand shipwrecks in and around right. the South African Fine. coast. <laughs> it's total immigrant stuff, but I like it. Now. All right. That's freaking amazing. Two thousand? Two thousand shipwrecks. That's that area, right? People have that. I mean it's hard to make that left turn <laughs> coming from you know, <laughs> trying to go across the uh what else the only country in the world that uh where a street has produced two nobel priest prize winners mm. okay um what else do we have over here yeah this is very immigration i'm based. going to south africa i'm going to national geographic kids yeah this is that's, that was that's my next click of that's course my next it click. Is. i have it over here yeah yeah, yeah. population fi- 55 million that's money you want to guess what their money is called It's not rupee. No, it's rand. Rand. Yeah, that's true. I, you know what? When I went to Mauritius, here, bro. By the way, yeah, we go to Mauritius, right? We're in, we're in the Airbnb, me, me and the wife. Yeah. And um, and there is Steve Harvey mm-hmm. doing Family Feud. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Get to watch some Family Feud. It's the South African edition. What's that mean? No, literally, it's being shot. And shot in South Africa with only South African and families. And Steve Harvey? And Steve Harvey's hosting Whoa. it, right? So you're watching it. And um, the, the main prize yeah. is like KFC stuff, right? And I th- and really, it doesn't seem like it's, a, like it's a stereotype or it's weird or whatever. KFC is giving out the prizes. Everyone's happy about it. Yeah. <laughs> right? That's... right? But, dude, it is kind of fun to watch African families uh, 
play Family Feud because it's so different than like you know the questions and what the answers are and what the guesses are. Yeah, hella different, bro. I grew up in Houston. Trust me, it was so much more. Yeah, it was so much more fun. Also, like, yeah, some houses are more fun. People are yelling, you lost somebody. You're like, you're like, where's this person? We don't know. It's fine. Yeah, that's cool. It is fun. Uh, but you know Africa is going gonna, is gonna to come correct with, with regards to the animals, right? Dude, there's so much stuff on here. Yeah. It's also the cradle of civilization, of humankind, is apparently South Africa. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wait, uh, just go through. There are fossils dating back to 2 million years old okay, in but South what fossils, Africa. Though? Human fossils. Oh, I don't have more off of that. I know you're like two, two, two million, million years old. Two million years old. How are they different? Do we know? Uh, in terms of like, uh, oh, smaller heads, smaller, smaller heads. brains. Ah. They're still getting there to the brain. Yeah. But apparently, like, they were up, humans were burying their dead mm-hmm. like a hundred thousand years ago, mm-hmm. even with a small brain. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. So they, yeah. And like monkeys don't do that. Also, we're the only ones that stand up. This thing used to stand up. That's why they they're like humanoid right okay 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 that is interesting yeah. is there any other animals uh, animal that buries their their dead oh uh, elephants they bury their dead elephants have been known to bury their dead how good are they at right digging a hole though big enough for an elephant that's a lot of digging yeah. maybe a bird I don't, I don't know why i mean a bird could but i don't know bird if it could. yeah if it it wouldn't would. do it he would just can we google he would just fly away <laughs> what animals bury their dead because I, I i'd like to be corrected on this I'm like it'd be just what that one stinky elephant that we had to bury <laughs> as a group. Okay, straight off the bat, elephants. Yeah, they do. They grieve. They're one of the few animals who are similar to humans in mourning patterns. Believe it or not, elephants cry mm-hmm. and they bury their dead and pay tribute to the bodies in their bones. That's why they actually have actual um, elephant graveyards. Dang! If you watch. You know, Lion King. Oh, yeah. Or know. Pitch Black. There was a graveyard. I'm thinking it's elephants. Probably not. Yeah. I think uh, I think it was some sort of yeah, it was some, dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We wouldn't be... Uh, we have to mention this. We were talking about South Africa. In 1963, Nelson Mandela, the head of the anti-apartheid African National Congress, mm-hmm. was given a life sentence in jail for terrorism activities. Yes. In 1990... May I pose you yes, for a second? Of course. When, we, when, they, when they say terrorism activities, there was bombs that were being... Uh, like exploded they, mm-hmm. there was civilian casualties and they were fighting for their freedom and then say it go on and in 1990 after 27 years behind bars mandela was freed by president fw de clerk and in 1994 he was elected president yo 19, 1990 out 94 president he was elected president of south africa that same year apartheid was abolished mm-hmm. mandela Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela. So I, when they say, when they say, when they say someone's terrorist is another person's freedom fighter, there's some truth behind that. We got to be careful with the way how those those things are said. And this is not the real, like, what, what essentially we want to focus off on, on, the, on the podcast. But I, it's important to me specifically because he was in jail for this mm. for a very long time. And it was signed off by everyone at the time that he deserves to be there. Not everyone. You understand. Yeah. Like the people who are supporting apartheid. Right. The right? British. Yeah, yeah. Once again. Yeah. Uh, um, and, and, and look how, look how it's changed. It's such an odd thing, but you would say, you would think that this is a completely different way of looking at Nelson Mandela mm-hmm. pre and post a certain po- point in time. Yeah. And, and it's important you, to know that. Please feel free to Google Nelson Mandela and apartheid and Palestine, and you'll get a lot of Really good interviews. I went to actually go see Nelson Mandela, and he got sick, and they subbed in Bill Clinton. Big step down. Got to shake Bill Clinton's hand. Are you bullshitting me? Or you? No, I did that. Okay. Yeah, college. Uh, okay, okay. As yeah, part of like not recently. <laughs> I'm not going to meet Bill Clinton recently and not tell you. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm like, how is this not on you the podcast? I don't like it that much. <laughs> I just thought it didn't, didn't come up. But right. yeah, I was in college, uh, and it was to like support children in africa and you pay for a table Mm -hmm. we're gonna see mandela got severely downgraded man that sucks yeah i think though now if you were to see bill clinton you would have had like some funny questions so many like you would but imagine if i got to shake nelson mandela no i understand rather than bill i'm I'm just trying to make you feel a little bit better yeah i know man okay so with regards to animals in africa there's really no real reason for me to go through this because They've got everything that you've ever seen mm. in National Geographic, in Blue Planet, mm. in whatever. But quickly, lion, elephant, African buffalo, leopard, rhinoceros, hippo, um, various elk-like undulates, 
um, white rhinoceros, African penguin. They have those over there. Us. Ostrich, wildebeest, cheetah, my favorite animal, baboon, scorpions, the great white shark. Let's not let's not forget about marine life. Mm. Giraffe, the common warthog, advark, mercat, serval cats, blue crane, black rhinoceros. They might only be three left in Africa. Oh my! Um, the the Cape cobra, the Rhodesian ringback. It's a dog. It's a dog, All right? Okay. Yeah, the honey badger. It's a, actually, uh, just to stop for a second, that, uh, Ro he, what is it called Ro again? Rhodesian ring, Ridgeback. It's one of the oldest species of dogs. Okay. Yeah. And they're not, uh, are they, are they domesticable? Uh, yes, you can. Oh, yeah. Okay. Large breed of dog originally bred in South Africa or Southern Africa. For, uh, their forebears can be traced to the semi-domesticated ridge hunting and mm -hmm. guardian dogs of the, can't say it. Um, they're interbred with European dogs by the early colonists, them. Colonists. Thank you. Uh, just just tainting okay. the, the bloodline of, uh, of the Ridgeback. Um, in Cape Colony, and assisted in, they assisted in hunting of lions. Jeez, dog hunting lions. True Lion hunting dogs. G. Um, honey badger, the black mamba, African elephants, the Nile crocodile. Dude, the list goes on. Dude. I'm not even halfway through. Africa is rich with animals. And are you talking about South ones. Africa, or are you just doing all of Africa right now? No, no, that's a, that's under this is under South Africa. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Because um, it seemed like all of the Africa. It does. It does, I was like, Dude. does feel like that, but uh, these are the these are the heavy hitters when we we're when we were learning about animals. Okay. Yep. So also, I'm, not fair to Scotland to go from Scotland to yeah, it's Africa. Tough. It's sorry, tough. Scotland. Yeah, sorry, Scotland. You and your unicorn just making up in <laughs> animals because you don't have enough. Yeah, um, we still love you though. And then, of course, at the number one is Ireland. I oh, say, geez, <clears throat> Ireland been supporting the Palestinian mm -hmm. uh, cause. Ireland been doing it before it was in the zeitgeist, before it was something that was popular to do, before even this last World Cup when like Morocco was doing so well, you saw a lot of Palestinian flags. The Irish were showing up to soccer games with Palestinian flags when people didn't even know what Palestinian flags were. Hmm. They, people were confused. They're like, which they, club is this? They were worried and had... Um, conversations within their government back in the night prior to 1948 with regards to uh, the Palestinian people. So it's been in, in the minds and hearts of those people as, for that long. As of September 18, 2023, this is almost uh, one month and 10 days ago, government preparing to Irish government preparing to recognize Palestinian as an independent state. Yeah. And it was something being talked about the Irish examiner and a few other places. Mm-hmm. SubhanAllah. Big respect. Big to, ups to the to Irish. Ireland. Yeah. If anything, if anything, the Irish people were still showing, when they were going up to soccer games and whatnot, they were still bringing those flags and they were doing it before like other countries and other people who, 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 who start, that were supporting and doing it in, in a religious basis. Mm -hmm. These guys were doing it before. <clears throat> we got to remember the Irish people were doing it before it, it was even something from that Muslims were thinking about as much um, they, they, it seemed like they were thinking about it a whole lot. It was a conversation. There's a lot. You can go on YouTube and look up like Irish politicians commenting it's, on Palestine. It's the first it's, time you see white people talk it, about yeah. Palestine the way Irish white people. And also, so much fun to hear angry Irish people. Yeah, it really. Is. Right? It really is. That is an act. You can tell where the Bostonians get it from. You're like, <laughs> yeah, you guys like being, you guys, when you guys get angry, you guys have a whole tone about it. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, so shout out to them. Oh, we haven't even uh, done anything. Yeah, let's see. All right. You pull up the what? The control, the, yeah, the, I'll the, put the, all the cool the, facts. Yeah. I can't imagine too many animals. I know, right? All right, it's very similar. Uh, I can quote this quicker than you will, so I'll hear it. The hedgehog, the red fox, the, the Irish setter, red deer, mountain hare, Badger. Did you just say a dog? You were like Irish setter. You're like we're we're counting dogs in the Irish animals. I mean, I mean yeah, I th he was first on the list. I kind of just said it afterwards. Dang. But uh, yeah, it's a gun dog. What the hell is a gun dog? Probably a hunting dog. Yeah, but like... it's, unless I'm <laughs> totally misunderstanding guns and dogs. Okay, gun dogs and bird dogs are type of hunting dogs developed to assist hunters in finding and retrieving game. Hmm. So you shoot something, it falls down, they go and get it. Yep, that's cool. Isn't that the so that means the Nintendo dog is a gun dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I listen to a lot of hunting podcasts. I'm like, yeah, dude, yeah. And they're like, dude, that's a gun dog. I'm like, yeah, yep. that's awesome. Yep, those are uh, a lot of dogs are gun dogs though. 
You'd be surprised how many because uh, most uh, retrievers are gun dogs. Yes. And uh, can you? But like, I feel like a golden retriever. No, no. It would be sad on the way. Yeah. Like, oh, is it dead? <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I'll do it anyway. Uh, population four point nine million. Uh, official name of Ireland. They have Say a whole it. different language. Uh, Irie in the Irish. Irie. Irie. E I R E. Okay. Okay. Uh, capital is Dublin. Dublin. Shout out. Ireland is divided into thirty-two oh, counties. We're fine. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, let me find some funner facts than these. These are just things about Ireland. <laughs> All right, I'm looking at Ireland fun facts. Oh, wait, I got 12 facts about Ireland that'll blow your mind, All right, go. according to the, the <laughs> All title. Right, All right, go, go, go. All right, here we go. There are approximately over 70 million Irish descendants living outside of Ireland. Okay. So they come, and they're like, we got to get out of here. All right, it's raining too much. It's raining too much. People are drunk basically all the time. Ireland is home to two nations, Northern Ireland, uh, whose capital is Belfast, is part of the United Kingdom along, oh, no way. And then the bottom, what the heck? Along England, Scotland, and Wales, Britain, the uh, Republic of Ireland, whose capital is Dublin, is the southern part of Ireland. Hmm. Are you aware of this? No. This explains so much why the Irish are on the side of the Palestinians. Right. Right? They're like, they have taken over half our island. <laughs> like, you have your own yeah, just island. Yeah, go there. <laughs> Don't come here. Okay, I got one for you. Yeah, go ahead. Dracula's rider mm-hmm. was Irish. Mm. So, apparently, Dracula had a rider. Yeah. Who knew? I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. To, uh, the Titanic was built partly in Belfast and the Wolf Docks in Ireland. Interesting. So Hardworking they, people. Yeah, yeah they built it sense. there, parts of it. They were able to get it. To North America, yeah. weren't able to get back. Yeah. One way trip. Yeah. Uh, Ireland, no snakes. That's good. Your wife would like that. Yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, and also has real life four leaf clovers. Nice. Um, as a disappointment, Ireland only has 10% Irish people. Hmm. And Scotland has 10 to 15%. So. so Scotland has more Irish people than Ireland. Does. Yeah. We did that. Interesting. Yes, uh, Dublin was founded by Vikings. The Irish capital was not built by the Irish, but was, but by marauding Normans. Dublin was founded in the ninth century as a strategic st- settlement for the Vikings. They plundered the coastal towns in the area, and then they returned with their long ships to their camp, which was probably exactly where Dublin Castle now stands. Wow. The Vikings were doing some work. Dude, those guys are moving around, scaring the crap out of everybody else. Well... See, before it became, before it was cannons and whatnot, mm-hmm. the Viking himself was the cannon. He was mm. so much bigger and stronger than everyone else that he Dude. encountered. Yeah. And he's like, stick him up. Yeah. <laughs> like he said, he's With like, oh, everyone's smaller than us? <laughs> Dude. Uh, oldest brewery is 9,000 years old in Ireland. I mean, haram. Yeah, but it's one of the first things they started doing from what I can tell. <laughs> um, the world's oldest working lighthouse is in Ireland. Due to Ireland's small population... Many people historically only had one name. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> how low was your population? <laughs> was there only 20 people? I don't understand. Bro. How one name. Last names were established in Ireland by, by adding an O of the grandfather. Uh, like O'Shea. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Like, who, what's your grandfather's name? Aziz. Oh, Aziz. Yeah, right? O-Aziz. You're Yasino Aziz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also... <laughs> That's pretty way cool. more fun than Dessert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Arabs do that too, right? Something bin of something else. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Arabs, so. Jews, uh, Native Americans in certain parts. It mm. makes sense. Yeah. Like, who's your grandfather? I don't even... <laughs> I need to know who you, what your name is, but tell me who your grandfather is. Have I heard of this mofo? I think they got, <laughs> yeah, they got to make sure that they don't want to accidentally uh, Irish sleep whiskey with their own. is the same as Scottish whiskey. Mm-hmm. And that's the last fact. <laughs> Sorry. But we're gonna we're gonna do a lot for Ireland. I think we gotta go visit. We gotta do stuff. Let's not forget it. There was a certain p- point in time in Crash and Flow that the largest listenership was actually based in Ireland, outside of the United States. Yeah. So I, it was United States number one, and then Ireland number two. So they definitely listen to the podcast. We appreciate you. We appreciate everyone that stands with the Palestinian people. And this was a little fun. I thought this was fun. This was a fun concept. Say, so called he said, tonight, "Why don't we do this?" I like this. This yeah. is good. This All right, everybody. Good. Pray. Pray. You guys know what to do. Pray. Yeah. Pray for our angels. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. 
at this point, yeah, this is what we need. Anyway, take care of yourselves. We'll be back in a week. Good night.